Okay, so I'm uploading my first video log, which I thought would be good just for a little bit of change. We'll do mind maps, do a video log, we'll do some writing, we'll see how it goes. Well, this week's topic anyway was about theories, and especially archiving, which is what I'm going to be really delving into today. So, what our readings told us was we looked at a woman called Jackie Derrida. Now, there was a lot of readings about her and her work. Um, basically, Jackie Derrida said that all media construct archives and also destroy all other archives differently. So what does this all really mean? Well, she gives her first example by talking about Sigmund Freud, which I think is the most interesting. This classical example, if they were to exchange in emails or exchange in other forms of technology, which they didn't have back then, just when they had letters and other typical forms, those sort, that sort of information that they were exchanging between each other for psychoanalysis information could have been completely different if we archived, if they had archived it in a way that we archive information now. But the point in this is, I'm saying, is why is this really important? Well, it's the basis of what counts within society and possibly ourselves. The way that we put information together and the way that we store it can become the basis of culture. And that can influence the way we think about ourselves, the way we behave, the way that we are as a collective. If we look at a modern WikiLeaks example, the way that they archived information demonstrates that being able to archive published documents has a tremendous amount of authority. And that authority can influence our daily living, that authority can influence culture, as I said before. So, what she means by saying archive fever is the ways of publishing and organize an organization and like I said influencing daily lives thoughts and expressions but most importantly who we are and whether that is as we are as a group or whether that we are that as individuals if we think about ourselves now we must ask the question do we play with archives Yes, yes we do. If we think about our music libraries, if we think about our Facebook, we give things likes, we give things ratings, we share, all that sort of thing where information is compiled onto one platform where space and time can now be disseminated unlike it was before, we're able to play with archives and store valuable information. Thank you.